boys and girls, welcome to Color by Fraction. The pages in our distance learning packet that you will need today are pages 12 and 14. The other materials that you'll need, if you have either crayons or colored pencils, if you could bring those to today's lesson and also your pencil. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over page 11 from the previous lesson. If you notice that you have any mistakes, please fix those with your pencil and eraser. The ones that are already revealed are the ones that we talked about in yesterday's lesson. So I'm not gonna talk about those today. But let's take a look at the second problem. So we had 63 plus 44 plus 12. And so three plus four plus two is nine. And six plus four plus one more gave me 11, giving me the answer of 119. I'm going to reveal all of my peeps just so that I can find that. So for 119, I should have colored in this box right in the second group. Then looking at my second row, I had the problem 32 plus 34 plus 57. So I know that 7 plus 4 plus two is 13. Notice how I carried my one and put my three below. And three plus three plus five plus one more brought me to 12, giving me the answer of 123. And I shaded in that first peep in that second group. Then we had 65 plus 35 plus 68. So five plus five is 10, plus eight more is 18. Notice how I carried my one, put my eight below. Six plus six we know is 12, plus three and plus one more brought us to 16. So the answer 168, which was found right here in that first group, the second peep. Notice how the ones that I did in blue are the ones that I'm going over today. The ones, the peeps that I shaded in purple are the ones that I did yesterday. Then we had the problem 78 plus 88 plus 32. I know 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 2 more is 18, so I carried my 1, put my 8 below. Then I have, so if I take this 1 and give it to the 7 and add 8 plus 8, which is 16, 16 plus 3 more is 19 giving me the answer of 198. And 198 is found right here in that second group of peeps. And then for the last problem, we had 37 plus 38 plus 39. So I'm adding my seven plus eight plus nine, which gave me 24. I carried my two, put my four below. Then I had three plus three plus three, which was nine, plus two more was 11 giving me the answer of 114. If you notice that you have any mistakes, please fix those with your pencil and eraser. The next thing we're going to do today is talk about our spiral math review. And again, this is page 14. So yesterday, we completed day one. Today, we're going to complete day two. So what I would like you to do in just a moment, I want you to pause the video and solve these five problems in the day two row, and then press play when you're ready to hear the answer. Pause now. All right, second graders, you can see that I made mine a little bit bigger so that I could show my work within each box. So we had 15 minus four, which was 11. We had 10 minus two, which was eight, and 16 minus five, which was also 11. If you notice that you have any mistakes, you can fix those with your pencil and eraser. Then we had the problem 38 plus 36. I know 8 plus 6 is 14. I carried my 1, put my 4 below. 3 plus 3 plus 1 was 7, giving us the answer of 74. Then we had 26 plus 34. 6 plus 4 is 10. Notice how I carried my 1 on top, put my 0 below. And 3 plus 2 plus 1 was 6 giving us the answer of 60. Then we had 99 minus 31. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 9 minus 3 is 6, giving us 68. And for the last problem, we had 93 minus 29. I needed to do some regrouping because I couldn't take 3 minus 9. So I went next door, I changed that 9 to an 8. 
this three now becomes a 13. 13 minus nine is four, and then eight minus two is six, giving us the answer of 64. And again, you can fix any of those mistakes with your pencil and eraser. We'll keep going through that each day this week. We'll keep moving down in our spiral review. The next thing, this I want to just talk a little bit about fractions before we get into our next page. So again, you do not have this page in your distance learning packet. I want you to just listen and say the answers with me. So if I am given the fraction 3 fourths, a picture to match would look like this. Notice how it has four pieces and three of those four pieces are shaded. If I was given the fraction two thirds, my picture might look like this. Notice how it's divided into three pieces and two out of those three pieces are shaded. Now, if you were given a picture like this, what would your name for this fraction be? If you said five sixths, you are correct. Notice how five out of the total of six pieces are shaded. What would you call this fraction? If you said one sixth, you are correct because just one out of a total of six pieces are shaded. Let's try four more. What would you call this fraction? If you said one fourth, that is correct because one out of a total of four pieces are shaded. How about this one? If you said one third, you are correct because one out of three pieces are shaded. What about this one? If you said one half, you are correct because one out of the two pieces is shaded. And one final one, If you said three eighths, you are correct. Notice how we have a total of eight pieces and three of them are shaded. We are going to use our, this fraction information when we complete our next page. So if you can open up your distance learning packet to page 12 and look at the page that says color by fraction, we're gonna use the fraction color code to color the picture. So I'm gonna show you what I did to make my color code a little bit easier. When I see the word purple, I take my purple crayon and just color over that. And I did the same with the word pink, yellow, orange, green, and blue. That helps me to organize my colors and to match it with each of the fractions. Today, I'm just going to try three of them with you and then I'm gonna ask that you complete the rest on your own. So let's look at our picture and look at this fraction. That's kind of right on the top of the left of the basket. So if that fraction is one third, notice how I colored in that fraction purple because that was matching my purple one third fraction. Then if I look in that second column of the basket, third, that third one, I see the fraction one fourth. Notice how I colored that fraction pink because it matches with my one fourth fraction. The last one I'm gonna look at with you today is in that fourth column of the basket and it's the second one in the fourth column and it's the fraction one third again. So I did the same like I did in that first one by coloring that one purple. What I would like you to do is finish the picture matching each of the fractions with the color from the code once you're all done, take a picture and send that picture to your classroom teacher on Seesaw. We will go over this page in our next video. All right, see you next time.